Hey guys, today we are going to talk about some important stuff that everyone needs to know when they start their new job. Actually, it doesn't matter if it is your first day at work, uh, you just started a new estate carrier, or you're just changing from one company to another. I believe that every person should have some checklist what he or she has to pay attention on the first day. So let's get started. I will share some experience with you guys and I hope that it's going to be uh, useful for you in your first day. First thing, you know, when we go somewhere, specifically if it's our first day at work and let's say that it's your first carrier day, it, as an estate you're starting a new job, what to wear, right? So make sure that what you're going to wear, you put lay your outfit, uh, outfit the day before. So that's going to help you a lot. Um, to be in peaceful mind in the morning and taking care into consideration that right now we're in um, that COVID-19 pandemic maybe we are not going to go to the office in our first day still you are going to open your camera right in, in the meetings when you start your new job so make sure that what you're going to wear you have chosen it beforehand and one thing I want to make a note in here let's say that everything goes back uh, to normal we're going to the offices don't dress up for your first day yeah maybe for interview it's a good idea to dress up and I always um, suggest that put your suit for interview but for the first day it's your norm normal day right Friday you left your previous company and Monday you start a new one and if you're gonna put your suit and tie and go there everyone in jeans and t-shirts it's kinda it's gonna look a little bit weird so make sure that it's gonna be casual also if we are traveling to the office I would highly recommend you guys um, measure your commute beforehand don't be late because uh, it's not going to be good impression on people if you are going to be late on your first day. Put your alarm, uh, even if it's remote, start a little bit beforehand, uh, put your uh, get online a little bit beforehand, before let's say that you're, you are asked to be at work at 9 a.m. on your first day, make sure that you're at the office 5-10 minutes before. So that, that would be really good to take into consideration. Next thing, um, prepare small talk. That's really important because you guys are going to talk to people. Let's say that you're going to attend a couple of meetings in the first day and every meeting will be like that. Okay, let's introduce our new estate. And you have to tell something about yourself. Do you remember you were preparing a, a speech, tell me about yourself while you were getting into interviews? Make sure to prepare something like that. Small speech, you can call it elevator speech or a small talk about yourself. Be a little bit more casual, not like in the interview. Add some of your hobbies if you like soccer or UFC, if you have a cat or something. May add those flavors to your uh, speech to have a good impression on people. So um, one of the important thing guys, uh, don't be shy. I know it is sometimes difficult, not every single person is uh, the same, everyone has their own uh, character, some people are not that talkative, some people are shy, but specifically if we are going, if we want to make an impression on people on our first day at work, if we want to grow, we have to be very uh, open and talk to people communicative so try not to be shy go around talk to people yeah question how we're we gonna talk to people if we remote honestly I think it's much better because you're gonna type let's say that you started you're gonna figure out on your first job that first day at job that they're using slack Perfect, you already know, you've been using it for a while. So Slack people that you just met in a meeting or something, personally ping them, introduce yourself. Or maybe they're using Jabba or Teams, Skype, wherever. Instead of now you cannot talk because we are working online and working remotely from our homes, use those and I think it's much better. It's, you are more convenient to type and send and 
try to talk people but if you're in an office I would strongly recommend stand up from your uh, desk walk around introduce yourself to people if you haven't met ask their names and that's important guys please remember the names because tomorrow if you are going to meet that person and say hello and mention his name or her name that will make an extra impact so that that's my recommendation and if you are working in a big enterprise in in your team there are on the project there are let's say five six teams a lot of people yeah you do it around the week but make sure that you know people and people know you so it's important so uh, one more thing i would strongly recommend to learn the uh professional rules what i mean by that starting from asking about your responsibilities and your role i know when you start uh, you already know the job description from the interview but sometimes job descriptions are uh, so generic so make sure that what's your role what's your responsibility what they will ask you to do and what you have what's your role there so that's relies on your shoulders to do that's really important and also um, this small thing right writing emails i have seen a lot of times new guys joining known and replying to all to the email where they had to just reply to one person take time because when you type and click enter to the email it is gone you cannot catch it right so be very professional some people are really good at it perfect if you feel that you lack that it's important and i am pretty sure that from your first day you will have to write some emails to accesses to other places um, asking some stuff so that's going to show you let's say other person receives an email from you and reads it's going to be impression about you so that would be my one recommendation one more thing and i also did that mistake a lot put your phone on silent if you are in an office it is really important that people don't see you just looking at your phone all the time or in the middle of a meeting or something you receive a call and everyone turns around and sees you don't um, there's a saying that people remember the beginning and at the, the ending of the stories very well so don't put that impression on people's mind also at home if you are working remotely it's really difficult to concentrate to the meetings because it's completely new uh, environment abbreviations technology um, words i remember in when i started i said that guys words make sense but when i put them in a sentence i don't understand anything yeah don't say that to <laughs> people on your first day but you're gonna feel that phone gonna distract you you can live without it for a while put it away i know your friends gonna text you take pictures for us from your um, desk on your first day or something you excited but it's gonna distract you that would be my recommendation then talking about this um, becoming uh, talking to friends becoming friends talking to team members becoming friends be ready uh, to get invited to lunch um, obviously not now if you are starting uh, during this pandemic um, time probably you're gonna start um, remotely but let's say that uh, everything gonna back to normal you're watching this video while everything is normal and it's gonna be your first day at work be ready to get invited to the lunch now it is up to you there are two ways some people are uh, very confident they are okay to go out with on the very first day with the team and they are gonna be a lot of questions you should have your story and you should have stick to that your story but if you feel that you are not ready it's too much pressure on you to go lunch with the team um, then take your lunch and you can uh, kindly say that oh I didn't know that we would go to lunch uh, on my first day so I brought my lunch maybe tomorrow 
or maybe next time when you guys are planning but honestly I recommend uh, go don't um, it's gonna help you to socialize and it's really important but um, if right now no you're gonna be working remotely of course this going out to lunch talking to people will help you to know your team which I I think that one of very important aspects of the first day I know you cannot get into your team you cannot know them from very first day however your first day is the beginning of that process and how you're gonna start that it will continue that way uh, I hear a lot of um, questions a lot of comments from people um, should we ask question on our first day uh, is it okay to ask a lot of questions on our first day or not first guys relax it's important and of course you can ask questions it's natural however however we should be really um, attentive we should be very careful what we are asking right there are some stuff you can ask let me give you an example from my experience so I recently I also changed my project started in a new place and I met one of the developers to get some information ask questions you know what it told me he said uh, Nadir uh, did you went over the our confluence page oh no I didn't and he literally said okay go and over the confluence page we can reschedule this meeting I felt so bad you know and I figured out that this confluence page had answers to 80% of my questions and I could go to that meeting very very well prepared and I could ask couple um, a couple more questions but very uh, sensible very important and showing my value as well so my recommendation make sure where documentation is stored on your first day if you're gonna ask a question ask it do we have a confluence page where I can read about the documentation how I can know where to read the workflow ask the questions that they will give you something to go over and people gonna like it you know why everyone is busy everyone is crazy busy specifically this IT field and they will love someone saying that give me something to read give me something go over myself yeah, yeah go take it even for framework right test automation framework they have readme uh, parts hopefully uh, it's a well written one it will give you a lot of information to you so my uh, recommendation asking questions is good but make sure what you ask ask right questions when you ask a question it will show your value and it's going to put an impression on people you ask yeah finding out where's the documentation where's the confluence page uh, where's the work information about workflow that you can take your time read try to understand don't expect every i everything told to you i really don't like when people come on the first day and say that who can do knowledge transfer to me no don't ask knowledge transfer right away ask what can you uh, read what can you go over what can you look into then you can go to that knowledge transfer meeting right and gonna ask uh, valuable questions one more thing guys um, usually you have two weeks to start your new job if you're already working from one job to another last two weeks on your old job gonna be slow make sure you use that two weeks very wisely try to figure out what kind of technology your new company is using try to figure out what kind of framework they have in order to be in order to have a successful impressive first day use that two weeks wisely i know some of you uh, specifically who have been studying for a while they want to take some vacation and it's totally fine but if i worry you 
if it's your first day at job, it means that you are starting a new career, it's a new journey, it's, there are tons of new things to learn, which is actually very exciting. So use that two weeks before you start uh, to go over something that you forget. Like, I really don't like new automation guy joining to my team and asking about git commands, right? I got surprised and I kind of lose my hope on that person. The first day he's asking me about git commands, maven commands or shell commands, but very basic stuff, right? That every single test automation guy, developer, whoever should know, even it's the first job. Put away the people who already work and changing their uh, company these are basic stuffs and I cannot keep counting all this basic stuff that you should know but take into consideration that these questions you shouldn't ask you should know and take time to go over them now one more thing um, don't expect to work or expect to work it really depends I like this word a lot it really depends you can join a company with the ready uh, framework, very straightforward user stories, application is straightforward, right next week you can start testing and automating. This is totally fine and if you're in that uh, environment you feel confident, go ahead and shine. However, sometimes you're going to start a company, they will sometimes forget about you. For one week they will literally forget about you you will be busy getting your accesses, trying to get um, the technology, the, the tools to be installed on your machine. Some companies are very strict. You cannot just go and download things from outside. It should go uh, through approval process. And some companies I saw that they, even for Maven, you cannot install them. The IT department should do that for you. So, these, be patient with this process. For everyone, the first day, there are some stuff are similar that we discussed already. There are some stuff will be very specific for you. Bear with that. Don't, don't panic. Don't uh, get over excited or don't get anxious, nervous. No, relax. You are a professional. You started a new job act like that and last but not least guys I think this is really important observe a lot don't try to be a revol revolutionary uh, don't try to do some revolutionary changes on the first day recently I there's a guy who started with us from second day he wants to change something in our framework which has been developed for years people put um, their uh, labor on it, a lot of work on it. Some people see that uh, framework as their baby. Now a guy just started and wants to change. So change is good. Uh, asking change is good, but on the right time. You cannot start changing things on the first day. It wouldn't sound professional. You will not get friends. Give it a time. Observe. When you recommend something, when you say something needs to be changed, you already need to have a strategy first. Second, your team with you. Then you can do some changes. It's the first day or first week, first two weeks, be a good observer. Try to learn as much as possible, take note as much as possible, ask right questions. So this is kind of all what I wanted to discuss with you guys. I tried to go step by step uh, the, the bullet points that I really found um, very helpful for myself, for my friends who started uh, their first day at work. I think that it will be helpful for you as well. I'm really excited for you guys who is starting their new uh, journey being an aesthetic, it's amazing. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to accomplish a lot. It's really nice place. It's really exciting um, opportunity for you guys. I uh, wish you all the best and I have no doubt you're going to be very successful. You're going to be uh, stars at your workplace. Thank you so much.
Oh, oh, oh.